Hello folks, it's Driver Films on the Driver Films Shortwave Radio Channel and today we're going to be looking at another radio related app it's called Satellite AR free off the Play Store I'm not sure if it's on iPhone so I'll have to look that one up and basically it's a way of tracking where all the satellites are which is quite, which is quite good because some of them, particularly the amateur radio ones, you can tune into them. Uh, they do send out Morse code, and with some of them, you can, if you're like a two meter radio, you can send a signal up there, bounce off the satellite, and reach whoever is on the receiving end. So you've got the International Space Station. You can search for that, see when that's going to pass over. Amateur radio satellites, uh, potentially visible objects. So. Let's say you have the clear sky at night and you want to get your camera out. Click on that and you, you can get a picture of satellites. Uh, last 30 day launches or active satellites, including geostationary belt ones. Let's zoom in a bit. Or you can search like Echostar, Direct TV, Astra, all those other satellites. Uh, one just to have a look at it is settings and um, they'll set that up. Basically, it uses your location to find out where the satellites are, and you can move the phone around using kind of like augmented reality. You just tilt it around and it shows where the satellites are. I'm going to attempt that, but recently it's been um, been screwing up. So it's my location, yeah. Let's try this. Um, space station is not going to be passing over for a while, so let's let's have a look. All objective satellites. So I'll just load them up. Uh, commerce calibration unreliable press menu. That's I think this has got a custom ROM on my phone, but before I put the custom ROM on, it sorted out. No problem. So let's. Uh, You can see that. Let's see here we've got ICRF2, Navstar, Femus D, Globestar. And you can see all the ones up there in geostationary orbit. So let's uh let's pick one Navstar. So you click on the satellite. So the more info box comes up. Let's learn about Navstar. Now what it'll do is it'll open up uh, your browser on your phone. And there we go. So we've got Satellite AR, which is the app name. Spacecraft Digest, uh, Search Celeste Track, uh, Search National Space Center, da National Space Science Data Center, Display the Ground Trap. So let's say uh, that's what the uh, track says, and it gives you some information about uh, the satellite. So the one we clicked on, Navstar 53, also known as USA 175 and GPS 2R10, and it just gives you general information about it, what time it it was launched when it took off. Now here's where the app kind of falls down. So if I was looking at the um, amateur radio satellite, for example, I'd want to know what frequencies you can tune it into. And finally, there's four fairly close, so let's have it. One phone, there we go. So if I was only tuning into that one, I'd want to know what frequencies it is you can reach it on. And with this app, it does not give give that information. You'd have to go onto Google, you have to search on Google and find the frequencies. And by the time you've done that, the satellite is gone. It's way over. You've missed it. And that is the biggest downfall on this app. It's a good idea, but only if it actually had the frequencies. Would I recommend you get this app? Well, if you want to take, um, if you
you want to take some pictures in of satellites and the space station when it passes over yeah it's fine there's probably better apps out there for that other than that i wouldn't really recommend it there is another app out there heavens above app which i'll review later it's a far better app for that anyway um yes that's a short video i apologize for my absence but being busy with work and what have you and also i've got a milestone that's coming up very soon so to celebrate that there'll be another video until then um 73s